Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. In the previous module, we learned about inbuilt string functions. And in this module, we will learn about inbuilt math functions that are available in C. So C language has a lot of header files which has inbuilt functions which we can reuse for our functionality. Now most frequently used math functions like pow, power, or square root, or floor, seal, etc. methods, a lot of methods have been included in a header file called math.h which we can reuse it for our functionality. Now let's see an example. Let's try to understand inbuilt math functions. So let's get started. Now as usual, file, new project, file new empty file. And I'll save it. This is module number 24. So I'm saving it as 24 dot, 24 dot math example dot C. Now, I'll write here include, which we used to have always include stdivo.h and include um, conivo.h and this time we're adding include math.h so wide main and now printf let's declare int a int a comma a is equal to uh, 5 b is equal to 3 now we want to find phi power 3. Let's take my have a requirement to find phi power 3. So what's the value of phi power 3? That's phi cube. So 5 into 5 into 5. So that's 5 is 25, 25 is 125. So I want to find phi power 3. So what I can do now is I can actually write the logic or I can call a math function. So what I'll do now is I'll write here printf answer power result is equal to comma pow of a comma b now that will give the result so result i have to put person d now pow is a method that's present in math.h that will calculate a power b and return the value now if i'll just type here get ch let's see if we get the answer or not so let's save it let's build it now if now you can see that there are no errors. Let's run the code. I can see actually I'm getting zero. The reason why I'm getting zero is this power method is actually returns, I'm giving control space. So power method actually returns double. So let's put here F. Let's see whether we get the answer or not. Build. Let's run the code. Now you can see here we're getting 125 because that returns double. And so we're getting the answer, right? So now what we'll do is, so now if I want to make it uh, up to two decimals, I can give 0 0.2. Now let's see what happens. I'm just giving 0 0.2 F. Let's build it and let's run the code. You can see it's only giving up to two decimals, right? So let's put, I want to put here 0 0.1. So that'll give only up to one decimal, right? Now, now what we'll do is, so that's for power of uh, power uh, function. Now what we'll do is we'll see some other function. SQRT is also there, so printf. And I'll put one more number C and comma C is equal to 25. So we all know that square root of 25 is five, right? So I'll write here square root value percentile F and comma. The inbuilt function we have is SQRT of C. Now we all know that square root of 25 is five. So let's see if this function will give um, the answer as five and build it and let's run the code. You can see here it's printing square root value as five. So like this, we can we can reuse the functions that are available in math.header file, like pow, sqrt. There are so many other functions as well. So let's see uh, some more now. Let's take, for example, I have here, um, I have one more float value. So float uh, d is equal to 2.567. Now we have a concept of floor and seal concept. Now. Now this is 2.5, let's assume 2.567. The floor value will be two and the seal value will be three. Now I'll just type one function so that we can see, let me add slash n and let's add slash n. Now what I'll do here is I'll write printf floor result and percentile f and I'll write here comma and let's put slash n once again and comma FLOR and I'll just type here D. 
Now floor of 2.567 in maths terms is 2. So now let's save it and build it. And no errors and warnings, let's run the code. You can see it's printing 2. So similarly we have a lot of functions that you can use for log, we have for sine, cos, tan. So we have so many other functions as well which we can reuse it. And this is just a classic example of uh, some of the functions that are present in math.header file. Okay, so I hope you are clear how to use power function which will return double uh, square root function which will return um, double values and if you want to reduce the number of digits you can just use and let's put here a number of 0 0.0f and let's build it and let's run the code. You can see here I'm not seeing any decimals so I'm directly seeing this. So like that you can actually uh, round it off to the nearest value that you wanted and, um, and you can print the values. Right. So we just learned about power function, square root function, floor and seal function that are present in math.header file. And you can explore a lot of other functions that are available in um, math.header file. Right. So in the next module, we will learn about pointers, which is very, very important topic and uh, which is very easy. And we'll see in the next module. Right. So that's all for now. Thank you and see you in the next module.